Hi, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. Have you ever been in an Italian bathroom or really any bathroom in Europe and come across that funny little fixture next to the toilet? What is it? Well, it's a bidet. And today I'm gonna to show you what it is and how to use it. And I'm also gonna go over the dreaded Turkish toilet and how to handle that. Okay, so I have to tell you, overshare a little bit here. I didn't know what the bidets were for or how you used them. I lived in Brussels for a year and I just used it to wash my socks and underwear. I didn't know what it was. And, and I didn't know why it was there or anything else and it seemed very odd to me. So finally when I had a close friend who was an Italian, I asked her, her name's Flavia, and I said, Flavia, how do you, what, how do you, what is that? She goes, oh, okay, it's a bidet and it's used to wash your underparts. And I went, hmm, that's very interesting. Um, so I said, how does that work? And she says, okay, so I'm gonna use my little Latvian, I love Latvia teddy bear here to, to show you how that is. Okay, first of all, you get, there's some soap on the back of the bidet and it's called uh, Sapone Intimo. Okay, intimate soap. You get a little in your hand and then you bubble it up a little bit and then you clean your nether reasons with it and then you rinse it off and then you wash your hands and there's usually a little towel on the back of the bidet that's there for that purpose and then you're done. You're all clean, you're all good. It's actually very hygienic. It's very good for women who are prone to bladder infections. So mark that well. So that's your bidet. Now, there was a time I was in Cremona and uh, I, I ran off to the bathroom and oh my God, there was a Turkish toilet there. It's just basically a pan with two foot things on the side and a drain and I had no idea what to do. So again, I grabbed my friend Flavia and I said, I need a lesson on this thing. So she came in and she said, you put your feet on either side and then, you know, hold your dress up or whatever and use it. Now I can't do that really standing up. I've trained my body not to do that. So it took a little while <laughs> for me to get that figured out. In any case, um, let me tell you that uh, when you use a Turkish toilet, it's good to strip totally naked and put your clothes in a safe corner somewhere and then wait for nature to take its course. And, uh, and then wash your feet afterwards. It's just, it's just that way. I don't know, maybe I was doing it wrong, but that's the lesson that I got on the Turkish toilet. And, um, there you go. So good luck with that. And uh, the bidet, good luck with that as well.